Wando and Lucy Beckham are starting to build their rivalry. Goose Creek and Stratford have their fair share of wins, but nothing has stood the test of time like Berkeley and Somerville. Two communities that were separate from Charleston really back then uh, that really had uh, their identity uh, in part in their football programs. Friday night will mark the 88th meeting between the Stags and Green Wave, a series that Watson Mims has been a part of since the late 40s. That senior year, that, that was built up. They were supposed to, they had to pay for, some of it was a powerhouse that year. We, they were supposed to stomp us about 25, 30 points. But they had to come back to tie us 12 to 12. And I had a good game against them. The former safety and end Mims' memories about the series are about as long as the chains he's been carrying on the sidelines for the past 40 years. It was just some tough ball games. And old Moody and Don, now yeah, they got out when they got out. The two coaching legends were the only ones that had a stake in the robbery back then. The Naval Shipyard, it was huge. And, and the guys at work, they get to work on uh, Monday morning, they pick at each other. And uh, I mean, there are some folks that don't, didn't, wouldn't talk to each other for a long time because of the rivalry, bets that they placed on the rivalry or family who played in the rivalry. So it was very intense. Schools have since sprung off of Berkeley and Somerville since the rivalry began 100 years ago in 1923. But a century later, when these two clash, it is still a big deal. We played them now. We, we want to beat them. I think it's always been a good rivalry. It was always Berkeley and Somerville.